Otoy just launched the public beta of Otoy Studios. And if you use Octane or Blender, you should probably know this exists. It's not another render engine. It's a creative platform with AI tools, workflow, and direct integration with Octane. I'll break down what's inside, how to connect it to Blender, Octane, the render network, and who's this actually for. My name is Patrick LeVar. I've been using Blender Octane for the last five years and sharing everything out and giving it away for free. If you guys are interested in that, links down below. Check out my free community. Enough of the jibba jab. Let's get into this quick news update. If you're using Blender or Oct you're an Octane user, the real question is simple here. Is Otoy Studio just another AI dashboard or is this something that actually fits into a real world workflow? Problem number one, tool overload. The main problem with most AI platforms right now is it's overloaded. Too many tools, too many buttons, not enough clear ideas of where everything fits. For example, Otoy Studio launched this with over 600 tools, text to imaging, video to image, 3D to image, splats, nodes, timeline, all of this in one place. The win here isn't the number of tools. The win is that Otoy is trying to centralize experimentation before you even open C4D or Houdini or Octane or whatever you're using. Problem number two, disconnected workflows. Another issue artists run into is jumping between platforms that don't talk to each other. Here's the example. In Otoy Studio, there is a built-in app toolbar that lets you jump straight into Octane Standalone or Blender, and it even sends the job to the render network. So the lesson, this tells us that Otoy isn't positioning this as a replacement for Blender, it's a feeder. You experiment here and then you move into your actual production tools. Problem number three, AI tools feel like black boxes. A lot of AI tools feel like black boxes. You click buttons, but you don't understand what's happening. Now here's the example. Otoy Studio includes a canvas system that works just like a node graph where you can build custom AI workflows step by step. For Octane users especially, this is familiar, it lowers the mental barrier because you already use nodes, you already think in the node world. Problem number four, no context for media assembly. Even when AI tools work, artists struggle to actually assemble ideas into something usable. Example. There is also a timeline where you can actually combine images, videos, 3D asset, Gaussian splats into a demo composition. That's pretty powerful. So the lesson, this feels like less of a gimmick and more of an early stage look development concept assembly line that's not a final output. Now, I'm not gonna go tool by tool here. This is not really useful yet, and I still need to learn it. This is a beta, and it's a lot of this isn't production ready yet, so it doesn't really make sense to dive deep into the to features just yet. But what is clear is the direction. Old Toy isn't just building a render anymore. They're building a space before rendering even starts. I'll keep testing this as it evolves, especially how it fits into my real workflow using Blender Octane. If you want more Octane focused updates like this, subscribe and I'll keep, you know, firing and filtering the noise for you. You can come back here and check out. Check it out. Check out. Check out. I guess we are checking out. Peace.